concussions and other head injuries. Channel 3's Kara Sunlin has the details. Dr. Alessi, I know we know each other, so thank you for being here. We can share the information about concussions since my kids have already had to come to you a couple of times. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Happy to be here. Yeah, so how common are concussions and what are the most likely causes usually? Uh, concussions can happen with athletic and non-athletic reasons. Um, really accidents such as falls or uh, work-related, motor vehicle-related, as well as sports-related are the main causes. So let's talk about the symptoms. Uh, it's always confusing, I know, right after. What should you be looking out for after a head injury? Head injury symptoms can be wide ranging. So, uh, really things like headaches, dizziness, balance issues, mood changes, or sleep problems, uh, among others are the main symptoms. And, you know, recovery really, um, is important. And, and the neck, the neck muscle strain is something that goes often un, um, undiagnosed and overlooked. Um, and obviously the neck is in close proximity to the head. So uh, this is something that can prolong recovery that I always look out for. Yeah, you might need some physical therapy or something. So how do you typically determine if someone actually has a concussion? Yeah, concussion uh, is a clinical diagnosis and it's um, really uh, not every hit to the head is a concussion. So I perform a thorough history as well as a neurologic examination in the office and I, I ask specifically for details about the mechanism of the injury as well as the symptom course. And what do you recommend for recovery and protecting from any further head trauma? Recovery should be focused on the symptom management and, um, you know, a close follow-up so that uh, the injury itself can change every day. So close follow-up is very important. And to protect against a serious injury and further trauma from a head injury, I recommend immediate removal from play if any athlete has a standout hit or if they complain of any concussion symptom. All right, Dr. Alessi, thank you. And I know you need an expert like yourself to make sure you know you're getting the good treatment. So we appreciate your expertise today. Thank you so much.